we're paving one of the alleys in Group 8, which is part of our alley rehab program. We have an annual uh, goal of 40 alleys a year. There's an assessment that was done by the engineering department, and based on that assessment, they're designating alleys by groups. We we'll call it group paving because what we do is we try to address the alleys in that area, so geographically it makes it more feasible, more efficient to mobilize and demobilize by groups instead of one alley here and one alley there. What we're really doing is what we call total reconstruction which means we also go all the way down into the base. Uh, we remove any existing asphalt. We rework the base. Sometimes we have to cement stabilize. We recompact it, regrade it for adequate drainage. If you notice, uh, this alley has quite a bit of cut on it, and the reason is, is because we needed to readdress the, the drainage issue on it so that it will drain out to Violet Street. We run three on the paver. We run two on each side. And then we also have a driver and a loader operator, and then we have a roller operator. So it takes quite a bit of resources. Um, there's some times when it's slower than others, but you'll see right now they're coming up to the uh, abutment. And once they get here, just about everybody will have a shovel and they'll be working it trying to tie into this existing alley. One thing that would help us is the citizens to be able to hold off from watering the grass, hold off from draining their pools just help us to keep the work area dry for the time that we're there working. That would totally help us uh, tremendously. We do send out a letter to all the citizens. We send out advanced notifications advising them also that we're going to be in their area working and asking them to limit the water runoff uh, into the alleys. This project will take us probably about, from start to finish, a 300 foot alley typically will take us about five days maybe in order to start removing, stripping it down, reworking the base, and then recutting it, regrading it, and then repaving it. A lot of times the weather will set us off a lot also. If we get rain, it's not just the rain day, but it's the drying time that we have to also allow for the caliche to stabilize again to where we can get back on it with equipment and work it. So sometimes it's anywhere from a week to two weeks, depending on the weather. Uh, weather permitting, within five days, we should be able to get in and out of one 300-foot alley.